Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about finding percentiles, given percentiles, find percentiles from a set of data. So let me share my computer screen with you. Okay, give me a timer, I guess. Okay, uh, calculate the 20th and the 55th percentile from the following data set. Uh, there are numbers given here. We have to find the 20th and 55th percentile. So the first thing we will do is uh, change the color of the pen. So we calculate the sample size. We count how many numbers are there. And N is equal to, if you count correctly, it is 29. So there are 29 data points in this data set. Sample size is 29. Okay. So the formula for finding the 20th percentile or any percentile for that matter of fact is... I position I position I is equal to the particular position that you want percentile divided by 100 multiplied by N plus 1. Okay. So we want uh, the number in that position. Okay. Uh, some people call it I, let's call it L is equal to P over 100 multiplied by n plus 1. So I want the position in the 20th percentile. So L is equal to 20 divided by 100 multiplied by 29 plus 1. So this is 20 multiplied by uh, 30 divided by 100, okay? And that is equal to 600 divided by 100. And that is equal to 6, okay? So we are looking for the, look for the number in the data set for the number in the sixth position in the sixth position. And we will count from the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like number in the sixth position is 27. So hence, 27 is the 20th percentile, 20th percentile. What does it mean? That means 20% of the numbers are below 27. Okay. Now let's change the color of the pen again. And let's go here and change it to something like this. And then we we'll cross it out. Uh, I'll create some space. So now I'm going to find the 55th percentile. Okay. So so first I did was 55th percent. No, first I did the 20th percentile. Now I will do the 55th percentile. 55th percentile. Again, use the same formula to find the position of the 55th percentile. L is equal to P over 100 times N plus 1. So this is equal to 55 multiplied by 29 plus 1, because sample size is 29, divided by 100, or 55, multiplied by 30, divided by 100. Okay? And that works out to 16.5. It's not a whole number, it's a decimal. So what do we do in that case? Look for numbers 
in 16th and 17th position and 17th position in the data set in the data set data set so uh, let's move this so we are looking for numbers in the 16th and 17th position so i'm going to move this a little bit down okay and we will count okay and we'll count and find the numbers in the 16th and 17th position so actually can move this a little bit up and then we'll get rid of so 16th position so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so in the 16th position we have 52 in the 17th position we have 55 so now if i so maybe i have to move a little bit more Okay. So in the 16th position, if I write it here, 16th position is number 52. And 17th position is 55. So we take the average of 52 and 55. That is, we add them together and divide by two, <coughs> okay, which is uh, 107 divided by two or 53.5. Hence, 55th, so 53.5 is the, is the, uh, <coughs> 55th percentile, 55th percentile. What does it mean? I'll write it down for this one. So I'll move this a little bit more. That means, and so the interpretation of this is 55% of the numbers, percent of the numbers are below 53.5. So what did we learn? If the position comes out as a decimal, then we look for numbers in the one before and one after. So in this case, in the 16th position and the 17th position. Take the average of those two numbers. In this case, 52 and 55. The average is 53.5. So the 55th percentile is 53.5. That means in this data set, 55% of the numbers are below 53.5. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can... Uh, always uh, send me an email or actually you can shoot me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please also let your friends know about it so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time when I come back with another problem, another solution.